Hello dear students I am Samir Velankar and I welcome all of you to this video series based on the topic transaction management in DBMS So from this video lecture onwards in the series of videos we will see what is transaction and how is this transaction managed by database management system <music> first of all what do you mean by transaction now transaction as the word suggests is basically set of logically related operations you can think of a transaction like person a is transferring some money to account of person b in a bank maybe a is transferring 1000 rupees from his account or her account to b's account this is a transaction or you can think of a transaction such as a person a is booking a ticket on irctc online railway reservation system contacting the database contacting the database and booking a ticket for a particular day train and bogey so any any such kind of logically related operation is called a transaction so a transaction can have multiple operations single transaction can have multiple operations as an example just imagine person a is transferring 10000 rupees just check this example person a is transferring rupees 10000 from his bank account to person b's account then the set of operation would be like this first of all your dbms system will read account balance of a so account balance of a is rupees 10000 so from the database store from the dbms store whatever is the balance of a that is 10000 has to be first read then we should deduct the balance by 10000 let's say initial balance of a is 20000 otherwise the balance will become zero so we will deduct this balance by 10000 then write the remaining balance back to account a so account a now has transferred money isn't it so it's it's 10000 now and then read the account balance of b so in the same dbms store b has an account and let's say b has balance of 30000 initially so this has to be read and then we have to add this 10000 rupees to b because a has transferred 10000 to b's account so b's account will become 40000 and then we have to write back this 40000 in the account of b so this is typical transaction isn't it so now you just check that this transaction which i have shown contains only two kind of primary operations read and write yes and basically increment decrement read and write and in decrement and increment that's it but then a typical transaction in dbms can contain operations such as insert update delete alter many such operations can be there but in most of the topic we will be learning about read write correct and maybe a few types of updates that is increasing something or decreasing something now i have written the same six six uh, steps of the transaction which is transferring account money from a to b here at this point what what i want to point out is that this this has been written in the algorithmic fashion how are we going to write it in our dbms structure so the way most of the authors have used uh the notations to write this particular transaction is let's say we are reading account balance of a so we write it as read a r a in the bracket a now just don't get confused you might say that a is a person and then a will have name address address and balance and many more attributes isn't it so how come you are reading a are you reading all this all these details if you were reading only balance you should have written something like a dot balance read a dot balance but you know the authors have left out this minor details and when they say that read a they are talking in context 
they are saying okay read a means it is understood that we are reading balance of a because in this context we are transferring money from account a to account b so here r a means we are reading balance of a we are decreasing balance of a by 10000 then we are writing back the balance of a the new balance the decreased balance similarly we are reading the balance of b we are adding 10000 to its balance and we are writing back b so this will be the usual notation used by us while we describe the transaction not this one the english like i hope this description written on the right hand side is also much much readable and uh, concise okay so in the next video i'll be discussing about how many types of transactions are there i mean there is a typical typical thing that we have to learn is what do you mean by concurrent transaction and how important it is in our discussion thank you very much